This is Jason at TransmissionTuner.com. I'm going to show you my 4BT 6-speed Allison Suburban. I know it doesn't look like much. I'm not too proud of the way it looks. But it is a good family trip vehicle. And I get to test out all of my systems before I send them out to customers. Obviously, it's still a work in progress. I actually wouldn't mind adding another set of doors. Let's go for a ride. I've got the EFI Live AutoCal set up in pass-through mode. So you guys can see all my gauges here. I'm going to switch over to my desktop recorder so you don't have this glare and you can see all the gauges really well. I'll explain a few of these gauges before I head out to the highway here. This last shift time gauge records how fast the shift is completed. I have this tune set up for fast and firm shifts so I can show you guys that you can shift these Allisons fast. I can tune the shift quality to be slow and smooth or fast and firm and anywhere in between. The TCC pressure will show about 150 when the torque converter is locked up. Commanded gear shows when the gear is commanded, and then current gear shows when the shift is complete. ACCEP is my accelerator pedal position, and turbine RPM is the turbine shaft speed. When the converter is locked up, it is the same as the engine RPM. And the difference when the converter is unlocked is the slip speed right here. This gauge will show you how efficient your torque converter is. If you use a Duramax converter behind a Snorty Cummins, it's not uncommon to see slip as high as 1000 RPM or even higher. And uh, that is how much RPM your engine will drop when the converter locks up. So, you know, needless to say, if you've got a thousand RPM of slip, your converter is not very efficient. You, you'll see that this converter, this, this is a Duramax converter in this and uh, it works pretty good behind the 4BT. It's a stock engine. I just put a governor spring kit in it is all I've done to it. I haven't even adjusted the the um, the plate yet so well we'll uh, go out to the highway here. RPM and too bad. This has 373 gears and it's got uh, 285 75 16s, which I, if I remember right, work out to about 32 inches. I'm going to 
quick demo a tow haul deceleration here. Notice that the torque converter stays locked up all the time on the downshifts and that'll work with an exhaust brake. Regular slow down. I'm going to find a place to pull over and then I'm going to put my normal tune in there, which has some nice, comfortable shifts. These, uh, this one's really set up pretty smooth at lower throttles which is nice you know you don't have to have it banging and shifting real fast even at low throttle with the Allison with my tuning you can adjust it to be just firm at the higher throttles which is where you need it to be firm if you have a high performance engine All right, this is my normal calibration with smoother shifts. And I forgot to mention earlier that this is my medium duty TCM calibration. A lot of you guys have probably already read about the 81 GM TCM set up and I can fix you up with that system as well but the 8.1 is a lot more limited in tuning parameters for shift quality and so forth so typically I recommend the medium duty this system for most diesels uh, but the 8.1 calibration is a little better for high RPM stuff like over 3500 RPM. So I have one uh, customer that's running a 6 speed Allison behind a 383 Chevy small block and set him up with an 8.1 system. It's working out pretty good for him that way.
My medium duty setup does not have tap shift, but you can manually select all the gears with the lever and the sixth gear cancel switch. And if it's tuned really well, you're going to find that you probably don't really need tap shift. As you can see there, I can set up unlocks in 6th and downshift to 5th, really responsive where, you know, you just, you don't have to worry about it downshifting into 5th gear. So a lot, of, a lot of the stock OEM applications, you know, they just don't downshift soon enough and that's why a lot of guys want tap shift. I hope you enjoyed riding along with me. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'll try to have some more stuff out soon. Thanks again for watching.